Hello everybody, my name is Ratnos. Earlier today I made a video about the development notes for the 9.1.5 PTR build that just came out. In this build we also have the implementation of the AoE hard caps, which uh, it wasn't exactly specified in the wording how these are exactly being, you know, designed. Um, and now we actually have some data because the PTR build has gone up and people have been testing this on PTR. Um, so short TLDR, if you've been living under a rock, most abilities, not all, uh, notably like Trick Shots, Blade Flurry, are two top abilities that are remaining capped for now, um, although may change during this PTR cycle, have been uncapped. They've been the soft or the hard cap that existed for them at five targets, where a sixth target would walk into a pull and you would literally not hit it with the ability. That's gone for these effects. And instead, they now have a soft cap at five. And what that means is that extra targets beyond the fifth do increase your total damage. So it's not just split damage, right? It, it, but it is reduced extra damage beyond the fifth target. Uh, and we actually have the numbers on that now as well. So this is a graph from uh, Guilty as Feral, Wowhead Feral Druid guide writer, actually one of the one of the better guides uh, on Wowhead for a spec. If you ever are in the mood for playing Feral, which I have been a bit in the past months. Um, pretty, pretty great guide, would recommend. Uh, here is the image he created of what damage you're doing per number of targets. So let me explain what each of these lines are. Uh, the blue line is a hard cap at eight targets. This orange line is a hard cap at five targets, right? So you can see your damage goes up. It doubles between one and two targets. Uh, and then when you go to the fifth to the sixth target, you gain no damage, right? And that's true all the way up. And this red line is completely uncapped AoE, right? This is just every extra target, you are dealing a full target's worth of extra damage. Uh, and then this green line is what this new reduced damage formula looks like. This is called square root scaling. Uh, and you can basically see it's kind of halfway between the red line and the orange line. So, and it becomes, it, it's closer to the red line at the start, and then it's closer to the orange line as you start adding, you know, up to 30 targets or something, which actually in practice, all of these are a little bit, past, past the 20 target mark, there's further uh, automatic capping stuff that happens in the game. Uh, so I think in practice, actually, this would fully flatten off as with the red line at 20 targets for most specs, but 20 targets is not something we're really talking about. Most of the gameplay where the AoE cap was a problem happens in this sort of overlap, right? In this um, in this place between five and 10 targets, right? That's a place that people play in quite a bit. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with this change. I'm pretty happy with going to this green line. Uh, if you go back to my original video from... April 16th, talking about the AoE cap. This is actually, this graph is slight, something slightly different on the axis. This is the damage per target instead of just the total damage. But basically, uh, I was always fine with anything other than just a straight line down at five, right? I was always fine with uh, even this blue blue line, a hard cap at eight, I was fine with that. Um, it was just the hard cap at five that I had a big problem with being the entire AoE for some specs. And moving to this green line, I think, is, is going to be totally fine. Um, I think it, it's fine to preserve some abilities as being fully uncapped uh, and have some abilities have the identity of that they aren't as good in AoE, right? They're more about the smaller number of targets. Um, and I've, I have always been, again, you can go watch this video. I'll link it in the description below to hear, to hear that I'm not just, you know, uh, shilling for Blizzard here. I've always been fine with, with that. Uh, it's just that, like, when you actually have this orange line, it creates some really bad play patterns. Uh, as predicted and then came true, where you're just like, you're fighting five targets and you're, you're not even interested in if a six target comes in, right? It doesn't even help you at, at all. In fact, it's usually negative for your damage because like not everything's going to have all the debuffs anymore uh, and everything is, is kind of nasty that way. So yeah, all in all, this is the new scaling system uh, that is coming in. And yeah, it was five or eight target caps for before. There are some abilities that were capped at eight. They were hard capped at eight and they are now moving to this soft cap at five. So actually for those abilities, you can see there are, uh, there is this space here where it's actually a nerf, right? It is a nerf in this triangle thing created between the blue and, and green lines. Uh, so those abilities will be doing slightly less damage uh, between five and it looks like 13 targets uh, than they were under the hard cap at eight. 
but it's a small difference, right? You can see the biggest difference is around eight targets, where it's something like a, you know, 15, 20% nerf. Uh, and then it's dramatically less as you get to either side of this line. So um, that is something that will be happening for abilities that were hard capped to date. There's even an uncapped ability. Uh, Spirit Bomb used to be just a full uncapped AoE that's now getting hit with this soft cap at five. Um, so it is not all good news for all abilities. There is some nerf coming in here. Uh, but by and large, I think this is a really good step taken here. Uh, I think it is certainly important that they look at these and do do some tuning passes to make sure that everything is still working out well. Uh, you know, make sure that they haven't killed Spirit Bomb. I don't. I think Spirit Bomb could use, especially now that it's being capped, it could use probably a, a numbers buff uh, upwards because that ability you basically don't see this outside of MDI being used. Uh, and similarly, I think making sure that, like, I, so I think Marksmanship Hunter. Trick shots being hard capped is, is is maybe fine, because like some of their stuff's getting uncapped. But I, I think it, they definitely need to double check to make sure that uh, that that is the case, and they definitely need to look at outlaw, because I think outlaw looks like it's just going to be worse in pretty much all target cases uh, than outlaw or subtlety. So they should definitely look at that. I don't think it's the end of the world if there are a few specs in the game that have this orange thing, uh, but I actually do think it would be better if basically no spec was fully operating under this paradigm. Uh, we had two of them back in BFA, right? We had Fury Warrior and Marksmanship Hunter uh, were hard capped at five with most of their damage back then. Uh, and I thought that was a bad thing back then. But I do think, you know, if, if say zero to five classes or specs are in that space, uh, they can it can still be okay. I just think it, in general, it my, my problem with this orange line was always just that you would pull extra stuff. You, 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 there's no more risk-reward trade-off, right? It was just pure risk, uh, no reward for pulling extra stuff. So I'm really glad that they're doing this, um, and I think that this is a fine way of doing it. I think this green line is uh, a perfectly good a perfectly good way of, of doing the scaling past this. Um, I would be fine with more... Some I, I think it would probably be a good idea to move some abilities to just fully uncapped. Uh, or make, maybe have some abilities start their square root scaling at eight, but you know it's all it, it is all kind of small potatoes for most of those distinctions, right? Like you're, you're talking about nerfs uh, and buffs that really only start to be felt in the ten plus target range. That is a minor part of most dungeons, right? And mostly the area we're talking about again is this five to ten target range. Uh, so yeah, that's a look at what's happening with the AOE cap. I hope I have helped make it clearer and not more confusing. Uh, I'm sure for some of you I have made it more confusing, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, presumably there will soon be a WoWhead article that presents this information in text form. Uh, I will also link you the tweet to... I will link you to the tweet where this graph was posted, which has some further discussion uh, around it on both sides that you can scroll around. Maybe that'll help you as well. Uh, and yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.